Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and in this video we are going to be doing part three of my Patreon spreads for the month of April. There's actually going to be four videos this month um, because I still have six spreads to go and I thought six was too many for one video. So I'm going to do three spreads in this video and three spreads in part four. So be sure to come back for part four. If you missed part one and two, they're already on my channel. These spreads are ones that I make for my BFFs. Every month they get to request a um, planner spread. Sometimes they let me choose a theme. Sometimes they pick the theme and then I take their request and I bring it to life. In this video, um, all three of these patrons, um, asked for certain themes. So for Courtney, we're going to be doing a purple floral Mother's Day spread. For Desiree, we're going to be doing a Disneyland reopening spread. And for Holly, we're going to be doing a Mother's Day spread with a garden flower theme. So this is going to be Courtney's, the purple, the yellow will be for the Disneyland spread and the green will be for the garden. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut the scrapbook paper to be the same size as classic, a classic happy planner page. So we're going to trim this down and then Trim this down. Okay. And now that that paper has been cut, I need to trim these planner pages. So I'm just going to line them up in my paper trimmer. Cut that down. Cut this down. this down. And cut this down. And then I need to cut three of them to be just the three squares for the left side. So we're going to put that over there. We're going to cut this one. I'm going to put this over here. this one. So now, um, off camera, I'm going to go and tr tape all these down and punch the pages so that they're ready to be decorated. And then I'll come back and we'll start decorating. I'm really excited about this spread. This spread is for Courtney and this will be Courtney's first mother's day without her mom. Her mom passed away this year and she asked me to do a mother's day spread, um, in purple. I guess that was her mom's favorite color. And she asked that it be for the week of Mother's Day. So I am going to use stickers from my recent Roy G. Biv book. Um, and then I'm going to letter her a quote that I love on Mother's Day. So we're going to start with this sticker and we're going to put it over here and then we're going to go to this one and we're going to put it over here. This book is, this sticker book is currently sold out, but I will be restocking it soon, probably next week or the week after that, depending on when they arrive. So stay tuned for information on when you can snag one of these in the reprint. Okay, and then I want to put one here. And that's probably good. And then I'm going to go to the box part. And let's put one here and one over here. And then I'm going to go to the other purple section and get some of the darker purple stickers. And I'm going to put one here. And one up here. And then I'm going to do one 
here too. Okay, then what I want to do I'm going to put one up here so we can write Mother's Day in this box. Okay, that's not the right color. Um, and I'm going to put one here to write her a note. Okay, then I want to grab a purple marker that I can letter it with. So, is this purple? Yeah, this is purple. And I'm going to letter this quote. This is from an article that I read years ago that a mom wrote who had been diagnosed with cancer and she wrote like a letter to her little kids um and this was one of my favorite quotes from the article i'll try to remember to put the article um in the notes of this video if you've lost your mom i highly recommend reading it because um when i read it i felt like it was my mom like talking to me um so let my absence Be a motivator, and then here I'm going to put. and not in excuse to enjoy every little thing. I love this quote because it's such a reminder like I just love it. Let the person that you miss, let their absence be a motivator to enjoy every little thing and not an excuse. It just reminds you that life is short. And I just love that quote. So over here will be Courtney's little note. And then I feel like I need to put my lettering in some other spots just so that it kind of ties in with that quote down in the bottom. So I'm going to put today. To do important I'm going to put to do again in this box and I'm going to put today again and then here I'm gonna let her mm, I think I'm actually mm, no we're gonna use this one
happy Mother's Day. And then I'll write her a note. I love how this one turned out. I hope you love it too, Courtney. All right, so our next spread in this video is for Desiree. Desiree lives super close to Disneyland, and Disneyland is opening back up to California residents in April. So she wants a Disney spread to celebrate the fact that Disneyland is opening back up after over a year being closed. Isn't that crazy? Um, I wish I was a California resident because I miss Disneyland, even though I still probably wouldn't go. The idea of wearing a mask all day long does not sound appealing to me at all. But I do love Disneyland. So if you're a Disney fan, do you prefer Disney World or Disneyland more? I know we've had this conversation before, but we're going to have it again. Okay, so I have put the days of the week up top, and then I cut this word home in these really cute pastels, um, and I use the Disney Mickey font that's on the Cricut app. And I'm going to take this and I want to put it like this. It says home. Okay, and then I want to peel this up. It looks like some of that went down a little crooked, but that's okay. We're going to press it down and make it all nice and smooth. So this is just vinyl. Um, that I've used to make this. And I'm just going to use the edge of my thing to make it smooth out some. Okay. And then up here, I want to letter the word welcome because I really wanted to say welcome home. So we're going to put Okay, welcome home. And then this newest sticker book for Mickey and Minnie has Mickey and Minnie in like these really cute pastels. So I thought it would be fun to use these. So like this little Mickey, maybe I wanna use a different color. This one is green. I feel like this is gonna show up a little bit better. So he looks like he's leaning on something so we could make him lean. On the E and then let's see I'm sure there's a mini page let's see here maybe the blue one I like this pose I'm trying to see there she is in green doing the same pose let's do the blue And we're going to have her leaning on the W. Okay, so then it says, Welcome Home with Mickey and Minnie. And then we're going to go through this book, and I'm going to look for stickers with these pastel colors. want to see what day of the week is oh it's is it May I think it's actually May 1st not April 1st that the park is opening which is Saturday so I'm gonna take this sticker that says best day ever and we're gonna put this here we're gonna put this here Disneyland opens and you know what I actually don't want to use this sticker I 
I want to use this big mini sticker. And then I'm hoping there's a big Mickey sticker cut that same way. I should have checked to make sure that there was before I put that one down. Just kind of assumed there would be. Oh, there's that one, but I don't like that it's gold. Okay, there's actually not. So, if I grab the other Disney books... I wonder if there's at least a Mickey one, even if it's a different color. This is the this is the mini, isn't it? That's for a mini. And these are the colorful boxes. Okay. already pulled them oh my goodness y'all yes this one hopefully I haven't used it already oh here's a blue one too we're gonna use this one and then this one says better together and it's got all of them. So I'm going to put that there. But I really want more of these pastel colors. Because that's why I did this pastel over here. So I need to be sure to tie that in. So like here. We have this cute little pastel checklist. So we're going to put that there. And then we have this cute little pastel checklist. So we're going to put this one Hmm Maybe we put it like this and we just let it overlap Just have a little cluster Oh my gosh, I love this one this one has one, two, three, four, five. We can put this over here. I like love so many of these quote stickers but I also feel like I can't have this many quote stickers now that I have this I'm like I don't know if I like this so We're gonna peel that off. We're gonna peel this off and we're gonna line it up a little bit differently. Okay, this one says today is the day. Um, I am going to cut this. But I can't find my scissors. There's a little 
swear my scissors just wander off all the time. Okay, we're gonna take this little one that says today is the day. We're gonna take this one. It says better together, but I just want the Mickey and Minnie. that sticker and then we can put this one over here here like they're on top of this page okay and then I'm going to take this yellow one we're going to put one here And then here I can write her a note. Now I'm going to write her a note here. And then up here I can write about how Disney is back. And then I'm going to pull out my dates and holidays, and I'm going to date this for the week that she Okay, wanted. so one thing we have to fix for Desiree's is they're actually opening on the 30th, not the 1st. So I'm just going to take this sticker that says today is the day, and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to write... Disney land opens. Okay, so I fixed this and then I added the dates. And for some reason, I just think those dates just help to tie all the colors together. So, Desiree, I hope you like this. And if you get to go to Disneyland, I hope you have a blast. All right, the next spread for this video is going to be for Holly and she wants a Mother's Day spread um, and she wants it to be about watching her garden grow but she wants it to be floral themed but I'm gonna start with this one that says don't stop growing um, 
And I'm going to use some of these to kind of jump start this spread. So this says where flowers bloom, so do ho so does hope. Um Let's see. This would be really cute, this long sticker. Be cute over here. Let me put this up here for her note. a cute little gardening themed sticker. So we can put that right there. She did say she wants it to be like, because this is a Mother's Day spread, so she wants it to be um, kind of like her kids or her garden and she's watching them grow. So I want to have like a garden theme. Why did this not glue tape down? But I'm just trying to like, so I want to tie that in. I want to tie in the flowers, but I want it to be also like a gardening feel to it. So it could be cute also. I wonder if this will come up. I'm going to have to cover that up, which I will. I really need to invest in some undo. But I've actually kind of changed my idea. So I want to take all of these floral stickers. And I want to line them up next to each other. So that it looks like a bunch of different flowers growing in the same garden. So we have those, and then we might need to pull out another gardening book because okay. This book has the same florals, so. Time to bring out the tweezers. Then we can put one here. And then one here. And then before I put that one, I really need. more because it goes out further. So if we put this here, I wonder if this has any. Here we go. This one's cute. And then we go back to this one. Let me get this tall skinny one. So, 
the books I'm using so far are all the gardening books from the Happy Planner. But now what I want is I want, I would love just plain stickers. So like this one where it's just a blue to-do list. I would rather put this here now to cover up where I ripped that sticker up. And then we could put another one over here and we can put a checklist sticker and a checklist sticker then we can take one of these and I'm going to cut off the top there Mother's Day. Okay, then I saw there was a sticker in one of these books that I really wanted to use. I saw it when I was flipping through. Maybe it was in this one. Maybe not, but I do like this sticker. And we just have things to do. Okay. Now, over here, I'm in a letter watching my garden grow. So we're gonna do we're gonna start at the bottom. That way I know I have enough room. So grow. Oh, it's going to be close to make this word fit. Watching my garden grow. And then up here. to grab this book and I'm going to put in the days of the week and then I'll date it and write her a note. Um, so I'm going to do that and then I'll come back to show you all the spreads so you can pick your favorite. Alright, so this is Holly spread. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. We have Holly spread which is the garden spread. We have uh, Desiree's, which is the Disneyland, and then we have Courtney's, which is the Mother's Day Remembrance spread. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, and I'm going to get these sent out. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and happy planning!